Hey kids, it's Lindsay again. This video is gonna be all about the importance of self-care. I know, that has very little to do, you may think it has very little to do with your success at building an online coaching business, but take it from my personal experience, it has everything to do with successfully building your online coaching business. So previously on Lindsay's YouTube channel, I was taking, I bought myself a brand new shiny, fancy schmancy course called Audiobook Income Academy. And I was gung ho and I was making YouTube videos about it. And I was ready to be the next audiobook queen. I was going to sell a million of them. Okay. But then, but then life got in the way. And I know many of you who sign up for coaching programs totally resonate with what I'm saying. Life got in the way. I had some personal situations pop up. Okay. And they were weighing really, really heavily on my mind. And when I am personally in some like emotional stuff, it's really hard to continue on and achieve the goals that you want to achieve to make sure my agency moves forward, to make sure I'm selling more coaching programs and to make sure that I am following through on this awesome audiobook income Academy, which really was fueling me and exciting me just two weeks ago. And it totally sucks. I don't know if you guys resonate with me. Please leave a comment. If you resonate with this, it's like, it sucks. You long for that kind of motivation and inspiration that you felt. And it's almost like you cannot even access it inside. It's like, why was I so excited about this? I don't even want to like pull up a video or do anything. It seems so completely exhausting at this point. Well, through, you know, through many times of that happening over the past 15 years of me running my own business, I've been able to tap into myself and my patterns and, and how I can go and find that juicy, just motivation, let's get moving situation. And a big part of that has to do with self-care and self-compassion. Okay. And so even though I was gung-ho for two weeks on AIA, personal stuff happened and I had some whole bunch of migraines. And so last week, a big part of last week was being okay that everything was on the back burner, being incredibly grateful that I had so many systems in place to cover me while I took care of myself and my emotions. Coming from a situation like that, it's able to, to now get me to this week, which is Tuesday of this week, so almost 10 days, I put everything on the back burner, but I tried to show myself self-compassion. I tried to be okay with it. And now I am back in a place where I'm completely motivated and ready to hit the ground running again. And I think for me, a big part of that is this gratitude that I have what I have and not like grasping and trying to like, oh my gosh, I am not happy where I am. I must be the audiobook queen. And when you're like longing for something and when your current situation is like not good enough for you, it create for me, it creates this anxiety inside of me. And it's almost like I cannot rest. And when I have that anxiety, I cannot treat myself with compassion and care and healing, which will get me back on the path of go get them and, and make this happen. And I'm ready to take on the world attitude that I miss in those times. Like I have learned through my 40 something years, maybe that's 40, could be 30. I'm not real sure. I'll let you guys make the judgment call that over my 40 years that it's like, this is, this is a quicker way. It might seem slower, because I'm not doing anything and I'm taking care of myself, but it's actually quicker in order to achieve results much faster. Then when I was younger, it was more of like blunt force trauma, I will push through and actually all this emotional crap that I need to work through, I'm gonna put that on the back burner and just, just focus on what I need to get done because then I don't have to feel it, right? So I thought in this video, it might be kind of interesting or helpful for me to share a couple self-care things that I have learned that brings me peace and gets my mind in a place where I can go and work because I do my best work when I am emotionally at peace, when I am motivated, when I'm doing stuff that I like, and when I'm doing it at 
the time I want to do it, right? So first of all, Lifesaver is the Calm app. Learning how to meditate, little 10-minute sessions, amazing. I can't say enough about the Calm app. If you've never really gotten into meditating or anything like that, just try it, okay? Tamara is freaking awesome. That's the name of the lady on the app. And there's a great seven day course that will get you into meditating. But, and, and, and honestly, go and do some research on the benefits of meditating. I know for me, it has brought me a great deal of peace. And just in general, I feel like a more calm, creative person, which is what I want to be because that's how I can succeed in all areas of my life. So the Calm app, I, uh, I, I will do a 10 minute meditation morning and evening. And you don't like start out small from the research. They say that even this much meditation, this much will like grow your gray matter. Okay. So yes, please sign me up for that. Um, and you can just get into it. Don't put your, don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Don't make it a competition. Just try it and find some peace and see if you like it for a couple of days. The other thing that the Calm app has a ton of master classes. I was just listening to one this morning about uh, fostering a gratitude practice. Super insightful, super professionally done. Um, there's one about stoicism in there that I learned, which I'm really interested in. This app has everything. And then finally, every night before I go to bed, I will listen to a sleep story, which is also available on the Calm app. Now, Previously on Another Life, okay, I, I'm a news junkie, or I was a news junkie. My, my, I'll, I'll have to do a video on what has changed as far as uh, me being a news junkie, because now I'm very much in the school of thought that if I fill myself with terrifying thoughts about the news, it's just not, fos- it's not helping, right? It's not helping my peace of mind there. You, garbage in, garbage out kind of situation. And so I'm even embarrassed to say this because I feel like it was so harmful to me I would fall asleep listening to the news. I'm the kind of person that likes to listen to something as we drift off to dreamland. And I would actually listen to the news. Like who wants to go to bed listening to that? But I did for several years when I finally got the call map and I'm like coming to the realization for myself that I do not want that negativity in my life. Like I want to know what's going on with the news, but the addicted like I must find out to try to control kind of thing is just not working out for me. And I started listening to sleep stories. Now I drift off to dreamland, typically on a train. There's a lot of train sleep stories in there where it's like you're on a train and you see these beautiful icebergs and I love it. I love it. And it just feels good. So call map. Number two, number two is going to be lighting a candle. Now, you know, just, oh, my necklace, I need to stop pulling at it. Oh, it totally broke. So last year during COVID, Ian and I picked up ourselves a awesome gas fireplace and we spent a lot of time out uh, sitting next to the fire and it's awesome. And I realized how much comfort and peace fire brings me, right? Like it's a human thing. Like it's probably back from caveman times. Ugh, I want fire. And so a simple act of, I have this, and I ordered a whole bunch of these little tea lights and they burn for only eight hours every single night. I mindfully, if you haven't really gotten to mindfulness, go do some research on it. I mindfully go and fetch my new tea light and then I will light it and I will spend a bit of time, like it is my gratitude reminder almost to remind myself to be present and mindful and I will have a candle burning every night. And like when I wake up, And when I'm just like drifting off to sleep, it brings me personal comfort and peace. And I'm just sharing that with you that like, you know, sometimes candles are, some people think candles are only for a special occasion. Guess what? Every day is a special occasion because we're here and it's awesome. And this is the only day we will live today. And so it is a special occasion for me. Okay. Uh, Next up, see those bad boys right there. This is a new realization for me. I like flowers. They bring me a great deal of happiness. I smile at them. I actually take this vase from room to room with me, okay? When we're watching a show, when Ian and I are watching a show, 
though these flowers are staring at us next to the TV. When I'm in the kitchen with the kids, these flowers are with me because every time I look at them, they make that moment so much brighter. And so they follow me around. Guess what? I know it's only a couple days past Mother's Day and you will see my lovely Mother's Day gifts back there. But these flowers I bought myself because I realized that I like flowers. I want to look at them. I'm going to buy me some flowers. Now, some of this may not be like the biggest realization in the whole freaking world that you guys have had. But for me personally, okay, it is and it feels good. And if this is not a realization that you guys have had, I invite you to make every day a special day. Okay. It's a special day for flowers. It's a special day for candles. Like, you know, why not? Like what kind of amazing special day am I actually waiting for? Well, it's today. The other thing I found, there's a lot of like really good YouTube videos on like emotions and dealing with emotions and like processing your emotions. This is certainly not anything that I am a pro at. I've just been watching a lot of videos and the importance of sleep kind of falls into this emotion video. So I was watching an emotion video. In fact, I'll find her and put a link here. Um, And she was selling this awesome face mask, okay? When I take naps, this thing is amazing. Now you think, you know, face masks get a real bad rap because like on the cartoons and stuff, it's like the old lady with the curlers in her hair and stuff like that. And, or like in the spa, you know, you just got the face mask. I'm here to tell you sleep to me, getting eight hours of sleep and getting good rest is amazing and napping, right? So I mostly use these for napping, but highly recommend to consider it. This thing is so comfortable, so soft on the inside, blocks out all the light. Like this was the best $30 I've ever spent because It allows me to rest and rest well. All right. Now, of course, I do a couple of other things that, you know, the the, the peeps require, the peeps recommend, which is I always schedule a workout. Ian and I work out at noon on Mondays and we work out at 6.30 a.m. on the weekdays. And that workout clears my mind, makes my body ready, and it's just really important. And I respect that time and I respect that appointment as I would with my most important customer. And then finally, and this just is like, this is how I keep my baseline chill, right? All these things, my baseline chill obviously requires a lot of inputs, but here you go, is I take 20 minutes. And again, I got three kids. I got several businesses. I, there is 20 minutes in the day. Okay. I take 20 minutes and I either do yoga with Adrian, which is a YouTube channel yoga with Adrian. Okay. It's awesome. 20 minutes of yoga, or I go on a walk outside for 20 minutes and it just helps me clear my mind and it helps me be at peace. And sometimes that appointment, the 20 minutes can be a lot. It's like, no, I'm working. I could get five more emails out if I didn't go on that walk. But I find if I can force myself to do those things and actually do the walk or yoga, when I get back to my desk, my emails, my ideas, my landing pages, my ads all go so much better. So I force myself to do that, even though I really, really want that 20 minutes to like get some other shiz done. Okay. So there you have it, friends. That's my self-care routine. That's how I keep, keep going and keep my mental wellness where it needs to be in order to be creative to be uh, motivated and to be energetic. So I'll see you on the next video. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait, before you go, don't, if you find value in this video, please like it, go watch some of my other videos. And of course, subscribe to the channel. All right, I'll see you on the next video.